Hey, PV family, I want you to know that we've made an important decision to support our church and community by suspending all of our on-campus worship services and activities in an effort to prevent the rapid spread of COVID-19. Based on the latest CDC guidelines, we're moving to online worship services through the recommended eight-week period, effective now through Monday, May the 11th, 2020. We didn't make this decision lightly because we believe in the importance of gathering together to worship and learn in community. And we want to resume in-person gatherings just as soon as possible. If the CDC changes the time frame, we will adjust accordingly and let you know. We're still going to be active as a church family. Besides worshiping together online, we're going to take care of each other and our community in a number of practical ways. Right now, our ministry teams are working on providing online resources for you. And we're working with our local Compassion partners so that our members can offer help to those in need. Now, while those plans are coming together, let me tell you what it is that you and I can do. First of all, we can pray. We'll do a lot of great things in the weeks ahead, but the most important thing we can do is pray. Second of all, we can continue to prioritize worship. Don't let this temporary season negatively impact your spiritual rhythms. Make it a priority to join the online service during your regular worship hour, whether it's Saturday at 6 or Sunday morning at 9.15 or 11. Third of all, be a blessing through giving. We have new ministry opportunities and we will have great impact if we continue to faithfully give. And fourth, we want you to stay tuned for our updates. Information is changing quickly and we're going to provide you with updates on our website at pleasantvalley.org backslash pvupdates. It's a great time to make sure your email address and preferences are current so you can receive all of our latest communications. I want you to know that we're grateful for your understanding and support. And most of all, we appreciate so much your prayers as we continue to respond to this unprecedented set of circumstances. I want you to know this weekend, I'm going to be speaking about how to be calm in crisis. I'll be excited to meet you online. And I just want to remind you that we have a God who is in control and because He's in control, we will not live in fear, but we will live in love, and we will live responsibly. God bless. See you real soon.